give me Second Corinthians ten five. Second Corinthians ten five. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. The first thing is imagination. Any evil anyone has imagined about you. Any evil anyone has imagined about our family, our children, this house, about our nation, about your health and your finances. A, a guy went to the hospital not doing fine. So they did some blood works on him. And then the doctor came and said, I'm sorry, I have bad news for you. And he said, what is the bad news? The doctor said, you are HIV positive. You have AIDS. The man collapsed. He started losing weight, can't eat, and was just lying in the bed. Could not believe that just going to the hospital to do a blood test, he ended up with AIDS. After some few days, the doctor came and the doctor said, I have good news for you. And he said, what is that? He said, we made a mistake. The report we gave to you was not your blood report. It was someone else's. And the technicians, whoever, somebody made a mistake. And so we are sorry, you don't have AIDS. The guy left his watch, his dress. He was almost empty. He left everything and he ran naked out of the hospital. He just ran. Before the doctor changes his mind and gives him another prescription. Any wrong medical prescription and result, any bad news in the womb of time that has been programmed concerning your medical report, your health, your finances, your children, your marriage, your business, your investment, in the name of Jesus, we intercept it. Put your hand, intercept it. We intercept bad news. This week, between now and 31st December, we intercept, we arrest any bad news. Somebody, open your mouth, intercept bad news. Come on, somebody. Go ahead. Intercept bad news. Intercept. Intercept any bad news concerning your health, your medical results, your children, your family, your loved ones, your finances. We intercept any bad news evil report intercept it any evil they have imagined and anything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God concerning you and anyone that has imagined or have thought evil of us let it backfire let it boomerang backfire boomerang backfire boomerang backfire in the name of Jesus boomerang backfire The name of Jesus. Now, hear me. You know, when my father passed, when my father passed, I went to my father's village to bury him. When we took my father's coffin to the house and I saw the house my father was born, they showed me the room he was born in. And when I saw the people in the house, and I saw where my father came from, I understood my warfare. And I realized that me, eh, I can't be a nice Christian. I, I, I can't. I can't be a nice Christian that just do SU, SU scriptures and sign of the cross. I, I realized that me, eh, I have to be a warrior. I can't be a parasite Christian. I said, if this is where my father was born, and the house my father came from, I can't be an ordinary Christian. Because what I saw in that house, it doesn't matter where you live in this world. Spirits know no limits. Are you hearing me? You can live in North America. You can live in Asia, in Dubai. You can live in South America. You can live in the Middle East. You can live anywhere. You can live in the snow. Those demons in your father's house and your mother's house will come after you. Tell somebody, you better pray and stop this, your niceness. 
tell somebody, I'm telling you, you better pray and stop being nice because they can lock you up. You know, I think it was Bishop James or one of the bishops that told me what I'm about to tell you. A guy got a visa and, and went to America. When he arrived at the airport, he had a visa. On the visa, they saw the grandmother's picture on his visa. And the immigration officer asked him, what is your grandmother? Who is this picture? He said, my grandmother. Then he said, what is your grandmother picture doing? He said, it's not, it's not my grandmother, it's my picture. I went to the embassy, I got it with my picture. The immigration officer said, look at it. Who is this? He said, grandmother. And he said, I'm sorry, you have to go back to Accra. The bishop, give Bishop, a, give him a microphone. Let him tell us. So you stand there and do yeah, yeah. Stand there and be nice and be, and be nice and cute. The demons will show you cayenne pepper. You. It is the story. Right, Bishop, tell us. Hallelujah. It is, it's a true story. It is the story of Thomas. Thomas is in Church of Pentecost, but you are saying right now. Now, when we give you dates and places, you know we are not lying. Now, Thomas had been struggling. The brother is an army captain in the, in the U.S. So he tried to help him. And then he arranged, he got him the visa, blah, blah, blah. And he put him on the plane. And Thomas finally left and went to JFK. When he got there, they looked at the passport. And it was the face of the grandmother from Esamankase. Sorry, I had to call places, but that's what he told me. And they asked him, uh, uh, Thomas, are you Thomas? He said, yes. Your name is there, but whose face? So, that's my grandma. They said, no. Which of you is coming to America? He said, it's me. I said, but your grandma has taken your place. They put him on, it, on the same plane and brought him. And I was doing a Duma FM program in Tema. Now, when we give you, you can go and check. Abeku Santana interviewed me at Tema. And they brought Thomas, who had drunk poison. And what? That, and they carried him and he gave the testimony up to today he's still in Ghana tell somebody you stand there cute <clears throat> and talk English he's grounded <clears throat> I'm not saying every grandmother is not correct to so don't go and attack any grandmother. I'm just telling you it was the face of the grandmother. <clears throat> Give me Proverbs 19.21. Give me Proverbs 19.21. Quickly, quickly, quickly. There are many devices in the man's heart. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, the counsel of God that shall Say devices. Talk to me. Say devices. Say programmings, say calculations, say spiritual manipulations, say spiritual interference. Now I want us to pray a prayer right now. Any surprise attack against anyone here between now and 31st December and beyond, mm, hear me, we are going to intercept it. Somebody say intercept. Say interception. Say interception. Put, put Ife's car on the screen. Let me show you something. This is what we call surprise attack. Ife left church. She was on the way home. And she collapsed behind her car steering. And the car is written off. We have to get a new car. And she came out without a scratch, but the car was written off. Somebody say, surprise attack. In the air, on land, on water. Say, we intercept and we are bought. Every surprise attack in the womb of time between now and 31st December and beyond. Open your mouth, put your hands together, intercept every surprise attack come on somebody every surprise attack intercept intercept avert avert intercept avert let it boomerang 
Boomerang. 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 Surprise attacks. Boomerang. In the womb of time. Surprise attacks. Boomerang. Boomerang. In the womb of time. Be averted. Overthrow. Overturn. Intercept. Intercept. Any surprise attack. Intercept. 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 Imagination. Expectations of the enemy. Anyone that has an evil expectation of us, of our nation, of this house, of our sons, our daughters, our children, our husbands, our wives, let it be intercepted. Intercept. Put your hands Intercepted. Intercept. Stop being nice. Hear me. Hear me. Anyone that God has commanded to bless you on the attack, wherever they are, whoever they are, let the attack be broken. Anyone that is supposed to help you, anyone that is, listen, there are divine helpers. There are people in this life, eh? The day you meet them, it will turn your life around. There are people in this life, the day you meet them, they will give you a key to unlock a door that will change the history of your life. And a lot of those people are under attack by demons to prevent you from finding them and meeting them. Today, any divine helper of yours under attack, wherever they are, let the attack be broken as you put your hands together. Break the attack. Break the attack. <clears throat> On your divine helpers. We break the attack. On any divine helper. Anyone that is supposed to help you. Anyone that is supposed to help us. Under attack. We break the attack. Break the attack. Break the attack. In the name of Jesus. Break the attack. Break it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You see that scripture? David was supposed to help. David was supposed to help a young man who was Saul, Jonathan's son. <clears throat> David remembered Jonathan and said, is there no one left in the house of Saul that I may show kindness? This week, people will show you kindness. Between now and the end of this year, may men and women show you kindness. May heaven and the angels of God show you kindness. May the Lord show this house kindness. May the Lord show our children kindness. May the Lord show our nation kindness. In the name of Jesus, say yes.